All right, back. Who would have been a good fight? With Deontay Wilder and who? Darrell Williamson. Why would that fight be a good fight? They both like the same, right? They both like the same. Um, Devere got a little bit better jab than him, though. Devere got, Devere got much better jab, actually. Um, they're both tall as fuck. Wild a little taller. But they both got freakishly power in their right hands. Those right hands are crazy. And it was going to be, I think Wilder might have a little bit better chin. But it was going to be whose right hand landed first. If we saw Devere versus Wilder, Man, let me tell you what. Let me tell you what happened. I was an amateur with DeVarro, right? And DeVarro used to always watch his video. He had a highlight video of him. DeVarro Williamson's knockouts. That shit like an hour or so long of him knocking everybody out. Because they called him the touch of sleep. DeVarro was ranked number one heavyweight in the USA every year he fought. And DeVarro... Obviously fought for the world title, you know, for Klitschko and shit. He fucked Klitschko up a little bit, too. But Klitschko ultimately got him out of there. He fought a much younger Klitschko than um, Joshua did. The Vell's old. The Vell's damn near 50 years old. But um, but the Vell had that touch of sleep right hand. The Vell was knocking motherfuckers out. I remember that nigga. I remember, I remember one time, right? Remember the show Martin with... um. Pam and Martin and Gina. Dude, who it was don't a remember tournament. The show Martin? Are you serious? It was a. I don't know about you. Are you yeah, serious? I wouldn't be surprised. It was a. It was, it was, it, um. It was a tournament called the American Boxing Classic. I think it was. If I'm not mistaken. And one of the fighters, Lamont Brewster, was dating Pam from the show. He was dating Pam from the show, and he brought Pam to the tournament with him, the American Boxing Classic. And and Lamont Brewster had to fight DeVarrell. DeVarrell decapitated that motherfucker. DeVarrell decapitated Lamont Brewster. Lamont Brewster know DeVarrell. DeVarrell, ask Nate Jones about DeVarrell. I know about you, man. But he ain't wild as high. Wild as 6'7", six, 6'8". Six, DeVarrell, what, 6'3", six, 6'4", six, tops? Nah. Bro, about 6'5", 6'6". About 6'4". How you gonna tell me I used to live with the nigga? <laughs> the fucking idiot. Dude, I used to live right, with on. the nigga. Hold on, hold on. I used to live with the nigga. I used to live with the nigga. Oh, nah, how about we call him? Call him. Call him. Put it on speakerphone. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> fucking idiot. I used to live with the nigga. How you gonna tell me how big my guy is? Hold on, hold on. Let me see this right quick. Put it on speaker. Pick up DeVarrell, stop playing, man. And you probably ain't even calling that number, kid. Man, I'm calling DeVarrell Williams. You have reached the voicemail box of. Nah, nah, you ain't gonna see DeVarrell Williams is right message. there. Look. Six four, exactly like I said. Man, that's what the fucking thing. That's what they wrote down, man. That's what they wrote down. I know. Dude, the I know the kid. He's six four. I'm 6'1". He ain't no kid. The girl about fifty four. years that's old. That's what I said. I'm 6'1". The girl got me by way more than three inches. I know that. Malik Scott had. Right, here we go. Malik Scott about six five, right? The girl popping around there. Dude, they got him listed at six four. They got him listed. I don't want to go today. I want to go to heat. You worried about what they say. Fuck they say. I want to go what he said. Who the fuck is they? Why go to they when I can go to he? He got, he got his shelf for his 6'4". Listen, DeVarrell and Wilder, that shit would have been a fucking fight. It would have been who landed first. <laughs> no, it would have been. He had a good right hand, but you got to say, put account for Wilder's height advantage, bro. Yeah, you got to. You got to. That's, a, that's facts. You got to. 
because even because even if you're six five six four someone three inches taller than you was still three inches taller than you you know what i'm saying so you gotta so you gotta so you gotta um you gotta account for that that's true that's real true and i think that um i think that wilder had a little bit could take it a little bit more you know because i've I, i've seen wilder get stopped before in the amateurs but I've never seen him get stopped before in the pros, you know, and I've seen DeVarrell get stopped in the pros against lesser competition. So I'm going to give the edge to Wilder. But if Wilder, but if DeVarrell would have touched that motherfucker with that right, if, if, if DeVarrell would have leaned the first, DeVarrell was, I mean, Wilder was out. You can count to a million. I remember one time a motherfucker got knocked out, right? At the fight, a motherfucker got knocked out. And... Bam, clipped them. I said, oh, shit, fight over. So me and my pops, it was snowing. We said, yo, we're going to get on the road fast and get in front of all this traffic. So as soon as the punch landed, the referee said, we ain't wait around until they announced the decision. We tried to get in front of everybody else. So we, we, we jetted out first. So we rush out. Bam, we were driving down. We get like two miles down the road. And I'm like, fuck. Fuck. I forgot my hat. At the fight, I could have set my hat on the seat. Fuck, I forgot my hat. Go back, make a U-turn. Like, fuck, man. I tried to get in front of the traffic. Go around, bust a U-turn, and go back, pick up my hat. Fucking referee was still counting. That nigga was lean double. Yeah. <laughs> 800. 801. 802. Man, that motherfucker was. Damn, that motherfucker yeah, that got clean. Yeah, gangster lane. Just link that motherfucker. The niggas was putting tape, were taking the rain down. They had just sat the motherfucker in the chair and linked them, uh, link them next to the bathroom. <laughs> like, that motherfucker was fucked up. Is that the Turner Stone Casino?